All right, so got a new toy in. Um, it's a factory UTV uh, harness bar. Um, I was gonna, you know, fabricate one myself um, and just go from, you know, side to side, weld it off. But, you know, they, they made a kit. Um, it wasn't that expensive. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do this. Um, so first things first, you, you really need to remove the seats. Uh, there's two 12 millimeter nuts um, down here at the bottom of the passenger seat. Pull them off from the bottom, um, then the seat will lift out. I think we can get away with just moving the driver's seat forward like I did. I, I am going to remove uh, the seat belts themselves. And in order to get to the seat belt assembly on the bottom, there's a bolt. And I can't really get to it unless I remove this plastic. So I'm going to remove the plastic on, on both sides. Um, so what you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, um, number 10, and these come in really handy to remove these little plastic rivets. So go ahead and pull these out. Whoop. And while we're here, I replaced, you know, um, a lot of these screws right here. These are the only two Phillips heads left. I used plastic body rivets everywhere else. So now we're gonna go around the other side. And, you know, good luck if you can remove these like I am. Uh, hope you can. But most of the time I find these are, are, are pretty well um, rusted. I've already removed them and cleaned it, chased the threads, put them back in. So I'm not terribly worried about it. That one looks like it was cross-threaded, so I'm sure I'm going to fight that one going back. And now we got a bunch of these things to to remove. Um, so however you want to pull these out, you're probably going to have screws and bolts. You know, go ahead and remove them however you see fit. Um, and I'll come back when I get these off. Okay, now that you got the plastic off, you need a 17 millimeter. I'm using the impact just to make my life easier. Come on. Locking nut and a washer. Like I said, I'm electing to just pull these off completely because I'm going back with um, actual uh, uh, four point or five point harnesses. I can't remember what I bought, um, but we're going to go with harnesses moving forward. So uh, these come off pretty easy uh, if you got an impact. Um, it can be done without it. You know, it's not that big a deal, but uh, just an extra step. This is a little faster. Um, now let's go read the instructions. So remove the seats, uh, install the harness bar between the two three-hole brackets on each side of the ATV. And that would be these. Um don't know if it's the top two or the bottom two holes. Let's see what it says. Looks like it's gonna be the top two holes. We'll separate these bolts. We got four of those and five of these.
You know, they're showing it to go in the top two, so I guess we'll do that. Um, I don't like it because the bar sits kind of funny. Um, but we're going to put the bolts in this way. Stick that on the back. Get you a washer. And get the nut on here. I like to uh, start everything first by hand, and then we use a wrench and an impact to tighten it up. All right, uh, let's go check our sizes. Nope, oh, nope. Be metric, not standard. Twelve. Be thirteen or fourteen. Let's go. 14, four, both. Hmm, huh. it's weird. It's actually, I don't think it actually is a 14. I think it's a, uh, nine sixteenths on both sides actually so that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna go with nine sixteenths it's close that 14 was just tight um so maybe this will work a little better i'm trying to get you to where you can see this um these seat belt covers actually um this one's upside down but it's fine uh we're supposed to go here um kind of to cover up this hole okay guys i uh, did go ahead and install that blank off block off plate here um and so what you need here i used a quarter inch drill bit i basically lined it where i wanted to do kind of held it with my hand and ran a, a screwdriver or ran the quarter inch drill bit through the pre-drilled hole in this plastic piece punching holes in this back plate uh then you did three eighths i used a three eighths socket for this side and a seven sixteenths wrench for the other side tightened them up did the both sides um pretty easy uh pretty easy pretty quick gives it a clean ish look maybe i should have used the other side it's a little duller but whatever uh gives it a cleanish look and then um you know your tires may not kick up up as much mud into the cab that was really the reason why i installed it so anyway um got it in uh got my harnesses in just need to put the seat back in and uh go from there so that's what it is you gotta kind of line it up where you want it then um pre-drill some holes in the plastic and run this supplied hardware um I will actually do that, um, but do it off camera. I think you guys can figure out how to do that. Otherwise, you're probably not going to do any of this work yourself, um, which is fine. So, <clears throat> have here four point harnesses. I didn't go with the fifth point harness, um, which is, I think, fine uh, for what we're trying to do. And install these. I chose to go with Asus Racing. They were look like a pretty good belt, good, good reviews, and appeared uh, be fairly affordable. Some um, now, it, like I said, if she does end up going to racing, I might upgrade these. We'll see. Uh, they are certified. Uh, they are um, E4 certified. Uh, I actually have no idea what that means, but just in case you're wondering, they are E4 certified. So now we have to figure this mess out. The other reason why I went with it, my daughter's pretty young, doesn't know how to tighten and use these kind of belts just yet. And so it had an easy, typical car style release, um, which I thought would be, uh, would be good for her. So anyway, so um, I'm gonna have to do this a little different. So, for the tops, I'll put these over here. And, 
pull these back a little farther just for now. I will go ahead and connect that strap, which is removable. Um, and then finish lining this up. So I don't know if they bought any. I may have to reuse the hardware for down here um, because it doesn't look like these came with any hardware, unfortunately. Um, so I do need to reuse the hardware from the seatbelt, which is is fine. Um, at least on this side. So go ahead and get that one down and let's make sure that goes in there flat Tighten this middle one up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but I did just put a slight angle this way. Um, again, this is going to be a 17 millimeter on this side. suckers on there and do the same uh, for the other side uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that side going and then I'll bring the video back uh, these harnesses came with these uh, to kind of bolt I don't have anywhere to bolt to it's not you know set up for that so what I did was I just pulled those off and we'll go under the bar then over the top, slide that buckle in until we get about the same length as the other and run it through one more time. And before I really tighten everything down, I'm going to have my daughter come sit in here, make sure it, it works well. But when I get done, I'm going to take this one more time, run it back up through the back and <coughs> probably trim off the excess. Um, don't know just yet but that should keep um, that should keep this thing um, safe where it's not coming anywhere and there's your harness setup uh, the one thing I do notice right off the bat that I don't like is I kind of wish and maybe I can get this tighter so it's not a problem but I kind of wish this stuck down a little further that way this belt doesn't want to slide up here at any point but I think if I really just tighten this up to where it's only, you know, um, only the width of the bar, that there's really not going to be an opportunity for it to slide out. Um, but anyway, that's essentially it. Uh, first impressions. Do I like the bar? Yep. Didn't have to make it myself. Um, it, w it was a little more than uh, I kind of thought something like this would cost. But... I'll be the first to tell you that doesn't mean anything at all. Um, you know, somebody's got to make it and they got to make a profit. And all of these parts, my understanding for this, for this razor in general, are kind of custom built because it's not a huge market for them. So they're not going to mass produce anything. 
Uh, there's not a huge market for the Razer 170s and not a huge market, those that do buy them, not a huge market for people that upgrade them like, like I'm doing. So it uh, makes complete sense to me. Uh, anytime you have to custom make something, guys, it's, it's gonna cost more money. That's just how life works. Um, kind of like building furniture, right? I like, I love building furniture. Um, I've got a wood shop that I really, well, hell, you can see I got a bunch of walnut and maple and sapili and uh, you know, some oak and cherry. And, you know, I love building furniture. Haven't done it in a while, but, you know, I, I just build it for me. There's no resale value in it because, you know, nobody wants to, you know, if I go build a coffee table, I might have, you know, 80, 80 hours and something like that. Um, taking my time, just having fun with it and doing a good job. Uh, nobody's going to want to pay me 80 hours worth of work to build a coffee table. Not when you can go to, um, not when you can go to Ashley Furniture Rooms to Go or one of those kind of places and pick yourself up a coffee table for about 150 bucks. It's pretty nice. You know, furniture is one of those things we just kind of throw away and change out every few years. Um, whatever. Uh, so anyway, getting off track. They custom make these things. Um, so you're going to spend a little bit more money. Um, and, uh, you know, parts aren't cheap. Steel's not cheap um, right now. So it kind of is what it is. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Um, <coughs> hope this helped somebody. Uh, or maybe it made you make a decision on whether or not you really wanted to order this stuff. But uh, uh, if it was helpful, I appreciate the like and the subscribe. Um, trying to build up my channel, so um, much appreciated. You guys have fun and go fix something.